What's going on you guys? Mason Ramon here and welcome back to Kaiju Figure Reviews. Now this one is actually going to be a 6 inch figure. A 6, a six inch Bandai Ultraman figure. So I'm going to stop talking and here he is. Jeronamon from the original Ultraman. Okay, so now I got uh, Jeronamon, so let's uh, get to detail. So starting off with the detail on this guy, it's actually really nice. Um, you know, on the chest here, um, the chest here is a bit of a rough texture going down to the pelvic area. Waist area, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of rough. Even close to the base of the tail. Even on the sides here. And on the tops of the arms, it's got a rough texture to it. But if you go under the arms, it's a bit of a smoother texture. And there's wrinkles to make it look like it's uh, a suit. Which is really nice. Same with the legs. Smooth texture, but it's got like scratches and whatnot on there and it actually looks really nice you look like elephant legs <laughs> kind of i don't know the fur the furry areas on here they actually do look like fur a little bit they do kind of look like fur and it actually does look really nice same with the fur on his wrists fur does look nice even the beard uh, the beard actually looks really nice too and it does look like an actual beard and uh, yeah it's actually really really nice looking Jerona the probably the only kaiju who has a beard <laughs> you know what I mean moving up to his feathers the feathers they look really nice uh, the back feathers the little sail on the tail here the sail looks really nice and the tail feathers look really nice. And what the heck is up with the tip of the tail? Does it look like a... In, I don't know. It looks pretty weird. I don't know. Alright, so... And also the eyes. They're cartoony eyes, like in the show. And if you notice, the teeth are kind of sculpted in the mouth. The head, does, the head looks really nicely done, too. So... That's it for the detail. Now I'll go on to paint job real quick. You know, paint job, this is actually one of the more colorful kaiju. I will get started. Um, you know, skin color, it's got black scales, charcoal black. Uh, the fur areas and the beard are tan. Same with the little uh, ear sails and the sail on his tail, tan. And if you also look here, there's like an orangish kind of pattern going on in his chest. I don't know what it, exactly what it's supposed to be, but it's, you know, just part of the suit and it looks really nice. So, and the feathers, they're like, they're very colorful. But um, in the show, there's more colors than just red, blue, and white. There is like green feathers, yellow feathers... Orange feathers, pink feathers. There's more colors of feathers to them. But if you, but if they decided to go with multicolored feathers, it would look kind of ridiculous. It would look pretty, pretty bad. So that's why they stuck with only three colors: red, blue, and white. And it actually does look really nice, just with red, blue, and white feathers. It looks really nice. And the tail feathers just red, which is okay. So yeah, the paint job is actually really nice. Oh, and also. The eyes, you know, cartoony white, and the ma and the the mouth is all red, and the teeth, the teeth are just plain old red. That's it. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty much it for the teeth. So let's go to articulation. Arms rotate three hundred and sixty very smoothly, like so. Legs rotate three hundred and sixty, but you just gotta move the arms though. They also rotate very smoothly as well. And finally, the tail rotates 360. One thing that's kind of cool is when it comes up to here, it kind of locks on, you know what I mean? But you can unlock it and relock it back in. I don't know if it's with everyone's figure or just mine, I don't know. But again, pretty nice. 
So yeah, articulation is uh, really cool. Now let's go to the, I guess the fun part for me, I suppose. And that is the scaling. Alright, starting off with scaling, um, Jeronimon actually revived three monsters, but I only have two of them with me right now. In my whole collection, wise. So let's begin. First off, here is Telizdon. Now, as you can see, this is the Spark Doll Telizdon, and Jeronimon's just a regular Bandai one. But if you actually think about it, he's the one who actually revived him. So. This actually looks kind of cool, in my opinion, because he's actually the, the revived monster, and he is the master. So the master should be the bigger person compared to whom he revived. So I think this is actually pretty nice. It's, I think it's cool. And I'll put up the second monster, Duraco. Yeah, I only got the original Duraco, not the revived one, but it's still Duraco. Again, same thing. Sparked all in a regular Bandai. Master Kaiju, revived Kaiju. I think it's pretty cool. Now, this is actually one thing that I found kind of surprising when I was watching the series in English dub. Um, they said that Telizdon and Duraco was Gabora and Red King. But I... I I don't have Gabora, but I will compare him to Red King. <laughs> Again, pretty nice. See how Master Kaiju, Revived Kaiju. I think it's cool. <laughs> and now I'll compare him to whom he fought in the show, only one time though. Here is Ultraman. <laughs> Alright, so, I think this is actually pretty cool. They were kind of face-to-face, -face, but Ultraman, he, most of the time, he was in the air dealing with all of his feathers that came from his tail. And I, and I think one thing with his feathers, I, I think they're poisonous. I think his feathers are poisonous. Because it kind of weakened Ultraman a little bit when, it, when some of his feathers hit his chest. I'm not sure about that, though. But Ultraman did, uh, like, clobber on top of him and started chipping off all his feathers. And, I, and that did look good. And he also got Jeronimon, like, above, him, above his whole body. And this actually looks pretty nice. So, yeah, I just had to look at him kind of closely. It looks good. Now I'll compare him with my personal favorite, Ultra, Ultra Brother. Here is Ultraman Gaia. <laughs> Alright. This is actually still pretty cool in my opinion. You know, Ultra Brothers, they're about the same height, so... Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> And now I'll compare him with a personal favorite monster. Here is Gamora. Whoa, hold on now. Gamora was never revived by Jeronimon and never will be. And this looks pretty bad. Uh, I think I can solve that. Just give me a second. There we go. Problem solved. Yes, uh, this is the SH Figure Arts Gamora. Um, I gotta say, he's really cool. But that's another review. I really do like this comparison right here. It looks really, really neat. Gamora versus Geronimon. And now I'll pair him up just for shits and giggles. Here is Godzilla. And yeah, this is actually pretty cool too. Uh, Godzilla versus Geronimon. It would be pretty, a pretty cool fight. I think it would. Maybe I might make that as a future project. I don't know. But again, this is cool. And now let's move on to rarity. How rare is this guy? Well, 
When I got Geronimon off of Amazon, he was about $15, $20. And last time I checked, he was now up to $30. So I think he's starting to get a little scarce. Or moderate. I don't know. But if you can get your hands on Geronimon, go for it. Now here's another thing. This is the newest Geronimon figure out here. There was a vintage Geronimon. Uh, let me let me show you what it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty crazy. Um, let, let me get rid of that for you. Okay, that's more like it. I think this Geronimon's cooler in my opinion. All right, now let's wrap this guy up and I'll give him a grade. So, Geronimon. Well, overall, he's actually a pretty good kaiju. He's a really cool kaiju for the collection and he's really cool for videos. So, if you guys want to pick him up, go for it. And, yeah, overall, the detail's really nice. The paint job is fairly accurate. Um, articulation, you know, five points. Better than a spark doll. But, um... Sizing, in my opinion, it's really cool, but to others, it's debatable. They may think it's really bad, and others, they think it's good. But personally, I think it's cool. And he's actually, I think he's starting to get scarce. I'm not sure. But if you guys can get a Geronimon figure, be sure to pick him up, because he's really cool. All right, so now before I give a grade for this guy, I would like to give a shout out to Appropriate Cant. Uh, he's actually one of my friends in real life. Uh, we grew up in school together, and that's all I gotta say about that, really. So, for Geronimon, Geronimon gets a... I'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10. Why a 9? Because, well, I mean, there's only 5 points for articulation, and sizing, it's debatable, but it's still cool. And so that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later.